they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. And we pull up in the belly coop. Belly coop. Belly coop. So, hey guys, so we on a new segment, Talk of the Town. Gee, gee. Today we have a special guest, Ifani. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> okay, so, um, so tell us a little bit about the history of your name. Like, why did you pick that to be your artist name? Oh, man. Um, so my name is Ifani Chuku. It means nothing is impossible with God. And um, I see that a lot of artists, y'all, like, tend to pick a, a gangster or an image that they would like to portray. Mm. And then they add that into their artistry or their raps and whatnot. When most real motherfuckers just come out as themselves. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like... Okay. Like that's who I portray. I portray myself and iffy. But everybody think it's iffy, but it's like no, I'm not iffy. My name is Ifani Chuku. It means yeah, this. that's not how But then for sure, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's iffy. Yeah, I can get yeah. iffy. So th th does that get annoying and get complicated? Like when you meet uh, a new uh, artist? It it does. <laughs> it does. That's it. Yeah. So you feel like the music makes up for all that though? Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. So tell us like how you got into music. Um, I knew a couple people already in the industry, and um, it just fell on my lap. So I ended up talking to a couple dudes, and they sent me to Atlanta and uh, Miami, and now we're in New York. And it just, okay. you know, it started just falling along with the plans. All right, so do you remember that first studio session when you recorded that first song? Oh, yeah, the first studio was crazy. Um, mm -hmm. that, it was um, it was out Baltimore. Shout out to KP. He did some things early in his career with... Um, uh, some niggas, but whatever. That studio was super crazy. It was a uh, uh, Sony 800, so that's the same uh, microphone that Jay Z used, and it was like a really mm. big studio. It was really cool. Okay. Yeah. So that was your first studio session ever. I mean, my first studio session when trying to take it. Trying ser to be serious, be serious. Yeah. Okay, cool. So like, when when since that was like one of the first times. <laughs> You, you know, was taking it serious, being in a big studio. Was that motivational? Did you feel pressured? Did you, like, know, like, yes, I really want to do this moving forward? Like, It was it was motivational, mm -hmm. but then at the same time, there was pressure because it was like, now you got to put out something for people to like, and everybody ain't going to like anything you put out and mm -hmm. curating your music and sound so that motherfuckers could like what you... I could cuss, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so uh, motherfuckers could like you know your track. That shit hard. You know, like you 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 you're, you're putting your stuff out so people could judge it. You know. What I'm yeah. Saying? So. Yeah. So so you always feel pressure when recording songs, or you feel like you don't build your confidence up. Nah, I I build my confidence enough now where I'm like, like I got studios everywhere I go. So even like last night I was in the studio. So I just I get in. I got a process that I just you know I do. And I just yeah stick to my process and just keep it pushing. Okay, okay. So what's that process like? Let us know. Like, what is it like in a studio? Like, um, how do you get in your in your bag to re record? I probably like smoke a blunt. <laughs> I let the beat run for a minute. Okay. I go through what I've written before or whatever I'm about to come up with now, mm -hmm. and then I let it run. And I just like keep practicing it and let it run, and then. I just be smoking. Mm -hmm. and I just get up and I be like, "All right, I'm about to go in the booth." So it's like you, you self motivate. Right. A lot of people be like, "Yo, my friends gotta be there. Gotta be dark." Yeah. Got so everybody, yeah, I don't, I'm not super like that having <laughs> fifty niggas in the studio and shit. You know what I'm saying? But some people are like that. Yeah, you know, so that's so right. you know, this so is what you, it's, you, you can get own. in your own vibe. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So um. So, who was you listening to growing up? Like, who's some people that inspired you, influenced your music? Mm. Um, well, for real, till I got into music, I always liked Jay Z. Okay. That nigga always been like the top tier rapper to me. Okay. That I'm like, you know, we from Africa and shit. So he's like, man, he cool. I want to be like that guy and shit like that. And just how he moved with the culture, you know. Okay, so it's the music, or it's the way he handled business, or it's everything overall. It's I think it's both. It's the the the, the ability to handle both, both and mm. you know just stand out in those aspects. 
Okay, okay. So what's like something on your bucket list? What's something like, yo, I got to accomplish this while being an artist? Um, damn. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, I mean, I already did one. So I know I'm a, uh, it's the streams. I was like, man, I'm going to get over a uh, hundred thousand streams. And I already, okay. you know what I'm saying? That's like been That's accomplished. Done already. So, all right, check one. So, okay. so I'm like, all right. I want a hundred million streams, but then that's like something that we could work towards, or like uh -huh. a Grammy, something okay, like Grammy. that, or like some awards from okay. some 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 some, some, some awards, you know, some <laughs> award shows. Like, oh, he's check him out, he's dope, you know. Come do some shows with y'all, type, you know. Okay, I'm so always. so getting those awards, getting that recognition for your music and people loving and appreciating. Right, right, right. And try and do something positive, too. That's what I heard. We got to um, give back, try to do some positivity shit. So I've been trying to think of things I could do to give back. You know okay. what I'm saying? So so any plans? You know, Christmas coming, Thanksgiving coming? You going to do some give back stuff? Um, or you don't know yet? I mean, we're always doing giveaways, though. Yeah. So that's not an issue. Our niggas always doing the giveaways. But, like, come Christmas, Thanksgiving, we'll definitely think of something that we could, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, you got a record with Shaw, Glizzy, and Shaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into that. How did you, how did that collab come about? Um, well, we're from the same city, so I know Shaw manager through the streets and shit. So, I hit him up, and he put him on a track. You feel me? Then I already linked with 808, so they always send me beats and whatnot, so that's not in. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we was just in the strip club, and we already put the hook down. Then we went back from the club to the uh to, to the, the studio, studio to drop the joint, and then we hit them niggas up. And then those are oh yeah, we over here. Y'all yeah, pull up with a hard drive and let's lock in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so y'all got y'all did a couple tracks, so y'all just locked in on this one. You just did this joint right okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. So who's um so who else are you listening to from DC? Like who's some artists out there that's buzzing? Um, I fought with three O. You know what I'm saying? Three O and probably like Big Flock. To me, them niggas okay. um, um I'm buzzing right now. And you know you got uh, you got, you got no savage. You know what I'm saying? You got IDK. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah, okay, a couple yeah, IDK facts. I did not know they was from DC. I'm in tune though. That's not crazy. No, no you not. Man. I I know who No Savage is and I know who I, IDK is. All right. I didn't know they're from DC though. They're from the area. I'm thinking everybody's from Detroit. Nah. I don't know why. Nah, nah, nah. All right, so um, so all right, so in DC, right? It's it's like a meme going around of like the Mount Rushmore and the music Mount Rushmore. So DC had a music Mount Rushmore. Who would be like the four artists on there? For real, for real. <laughs> I don't think it would be any of the the rappers. It would probably be like go go artists for real. Go -go if if the if DC people were to pick, you know what I'm saying? It'd probably be like Chuck Brown and and Wow, no niggas. like rappers, rappers? I mean, you if you were talking about Mount Rushmore like of music, influence, impact. That's what I'm saying. The city like that, like that. Rapper wise, damn. Like it would be. I mean, rapper wise. Don't say that. You got to be with throw up there. That impact the whole city. The city of Detroit. Yes. I mean, I keep saying Detroit, DC, the city of DC. It'd be a couple niggas. I'll say Shy. Sha would definitely make make him up there because okay, he, he did he did a, a he did a lot for the city, you know what I'm saying? And um, I like know. Wale, Wale still going for the city. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Um, who else? It's alright if you can't think of the other two, but then like you know, I like to ask that question, see who you feel influence your city. All right. Um. I'll probably put on for uh, Logic. He did a lot of influence for the mm. other side of the culture. All right, and one more, yeah. if you could think of one more. Uh, he did... Um, damn, that's a hard question. <laughs> it you know is saying? cool, it's cool, it's cool. That's a hard question. So let the people decide who the third one. Yeah, yeah you got to let the... I'm a, that's a good question. I'm going to actually ask that. On Twitter, be like, yo, who y'all think the Mount Rushmore of the DMV 
music scene should be like who are the the top yo dmv hoods and news yeah that's a big yeah. big big uh joint yo yeah you know what i'm saying facts so um so out of all the music you made so far what's your favorite song man what's honestly it's this one right now this one yeah this one right here this joint is like because when i first came out we we're doing a lot of trying to get on the radio and shit. Like, I wasn't understanding my style. And once I started understanding my style, that kind of got away from a certain type of people. And I started, like, moving in a certain, you know, crowd. And I started understanding the type of music I need to make to just, you know, I don't got to really follow nobody's style. I just fuck with my own shit and just gravitate towards my crowd. And that's when I started making the music that I like. Like, I like going to the club, so I like making club music. Okay. And then sometimes uh, niggas be wanting you to make, you know, like, top 40 songs and shit mm -hmm. because you got music execs in your ears you know what i'm saying yeah. so the creative process kind of gets gotta be versatile right so you gotta you know get to your creative process right now i like my creative process because there's nobody in my ear when i submit they, you know they'll be like, oh, these the singles we like okay and stuff like that okay so you got full creative control yeah okay yeah for sure so what, what's the one song you made that's out right now that you feel like it's underrated that you feel like it's slept on that you feel like people got to really listen to, to to get me. Oh, you got good questions. Oh, thank you. Um, um, all right, so this project, Trap Star, I was just mm -hmm. talking about KP. There you go right there, KP. Mm -hmm. Shout out to KP. We recorded at KP's uh, studio, yeah. this whole album. And there's some songs on that album I feel as if that were just underrated, like, bar for bar. Mm. You feel me? Like, where like, I'm like, oh. Because uh, so th it's them. called Thing of Ours. So, thing so that's of one of my ours? favorite songs on the Trap Star album. Okay. It's called Thing of Ours. And that joint is like bar for bar. It's like, oh, yeah, shit hard. Especially the second verse. You know what I'm saying? Talking about if I if I were to leave the game and never come back. Like, this mm. thing so is in It was real Yeah, deep. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so... Got to check out that song out. People got to tune into that. Definitely get a whole different vibe of you. So, like, who would you say are some of your biggest supporters so far? Like, who you been seeing cheering you on from beginning to end? Oh, you got to shout out to Bowie State. All my people's from Bowie State that, that I went to school with always fuck with me hard. <laughs> so, like, I, you know what I'm saying? Even though I only went there for a year, but the people that I know there and all my family and stuff. And they definitely you know, support yeah, it. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay, okay, good. So you said on your bucket list to get a Grammy and things like that. What's your goal for the end of the year in music? Um, going on a road. I mean, I'm already going to do it. Yeah, you so, on the road right now. But then it's like going on the road and and make it make it count. You know, mm. like I went on Dipset tour, okay. but then I understand. You know, it's like my first time on the road. It's gonna be my second time. God willing, I can understand how to make it count, like how to actually implement going on the road for the career. Okay. So what are, what are, what are some struggles you face being an artist from D.C., tapping into these other cities with so many artists? Like, so so I'm not struggles? I'm not famous in my hood, or I'm not popular at all. Like, I'm a real quiet motherfucker, young, but in my hood, niggas know me. Okay. Like, I'm not a big... Show Bodie, nigga. Okay, I mean, our niggas be, yeah, we chilling. We chilling. Okay. But then, as the music came about, you yeah. know, you have to be this popular nigga, this super jiggy nigga. I'm like, damn, we can't just be gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck, nigga? Why we gotta be dancing and shit? <laughs> you know so you over all this TikTok energy? Yeah. And all so, that shit. but then now I'm understanding <laughs> the business aspect of it and being more creative he's like nah you're not a gangster you're an artist i'm like yes i'm an artist you're yeah. right i'm very versatile so you gotta get with the creative contents and mm -hmm. you gotta get with the with the um with the TikToks, and you gotta get with the young boys with the visuals yeah you know what i'm saying so it's rather you adapt or die so yeah we adapting and okay. we trying yeah get so you adapting are you liking the adapting or are you still growing on you or uh how you feel about it I love it. I love. I love the um. Meeting new people, trying new yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. Me and you. I was like, Yo, what's your gram? I'm fucking with this shit right here <laughs> because it's rather you gonna be out and moving out on the road, or you gonna be watching niggas doing it. Right. Yeah, we okay. Don't, you know what I'm saying? So you, you so you down to like go out there, experience? Oh, yeah, for sure. Show. All right, that's that's cool. That's cool. Sure, for sure. 
Because I was going to ask you how you feel about the music now, but you said uh, you're not really into the TikToks. And so, no, I, so, so because, <laughs> because I fuck with a lot of young cats and shit, like my, my young boys and shit, yeah. they, I do got to, I was just thinking about a TikTok song this morning. He's like, yo, this your TikTok song. It's called Hit It. You feel me? And I'm like, damn, I ain't even push that joint. I, I was just talking to him like, yo, we need to get the, uh, the TikTok song going and shit. You feel me? Because it's just part of the culture. So I'm trying to be an influence on the culture, mm -hmm. but not take away from like my mas masculinity or some shit. You know okay. What I'm saying? Okay. Like, still be able to, to be push. who you were, but still adjusting to the times now. Yeah, yeah, like 